Hello guys and welcome to Vlogin Project. My name is Tony and that's just a small portion of my collection of Nokia mobile phones and we're gonna talk about my collection in another video but today we're here to unbox the brand new shiny Nokia 5310D reincarnation of the Nokia Express Music phones. Here are some of the finest examples of the Express Music lineup. Actually I don't have the classic 53 then at the moment, simply because I never liked it, um, it has cracking issues with the frame. Also, the buttons were quite hard to press and it was overall a kind of average to crappy phone, to be honest with you. These ones were quite a lot better, the 5800 touchscreen. And if you ask me, this Nokia should have been a continuation of this 5130 again express music edition but anyway i've got the 3250 over here with the rotating keyboard and the 5700 as well so what are the distinct features of the express music series well excellent sound quality i seriously wonder if they put a high quality headset in this one we are about to find out in a second now I'm going to unbox this baby and but first you know what but first before I unbox it let's have a look at these specifications over here 2.4 that's 240 by 320 screen which means the screen is like 15 years old dual stereo speakers that's what I'm mostly interested to hear that's why I've prepared myself a relatively modest 32 megabytes memory card with one test song that we're going to put it inside the phone in a sec what else? MP3 player, micro SD card slot, okay. Single SIM or dual SIM being the UK version, no wonder uh, that, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if it has only one SIM and the other SIM slot is used for the micro SD, but we are about to find out. What you should remember about this phone is that it's not actually a smartphone compared to the rest of the Nokia lineup, like the new 3310, for example, that, that wasn't a smartphone as well. Correct me over here. The new Banana phone, it was running the Kai OS software over here. The new 2720 as well, Kai OS, both were terrible, by the way. And the Nokia 800, the new tough phone. I've got durability tests of all of those phones on my channel. Make sure you check them out. I'm gonna leave those bricks aside for now. And, Let's pop this baby open, let's set it up and let's see what's going on. So I'm gonna make a small cut over here and let me know if you want me to see a durability test of this phone with this very knife over here, guys. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see what do we have. I'm gonna leave the phone on the side over here. I can feel the plastic through the uh, sleeve, <laughs> to be honest with you. Let's see what else do we have. Surprise, surprise, no headphones. Okay, micro USB slow charger. Expect over two hours of charging time with this particular charger, although the battery is only 1200 milliamp hours, guys. In terms of standby, it should last quite a lot, but due to my previous experience with the new Nokia phones, when you use them actively, you're getting pretty much about four to five days of battery life. So let's see what we're dealing with over here, guys. Okay. Oh man, I mean, the very, very first impression, that's a cheap, scratchy plastic over here. The Nokia logo over here, guys, is going to chip off, not very easily, but we've seen that happening on the Nokia 3310 over here as well. By the way, check out my durability test. Oh, I forgot to mention I've got a limo, which uh, if you want me to, let me know in the comment section below, I can actually run over the phone with the limo to see if it's going to survive. Because surprisingly, the tough Nokia 5, oh no, 5, 800, Nokia 800 didn't survive, guys. I cracked the screen on this one. So, anyways, we're here today for the Nokia 5310. Actually, let me put this battery in and we'll see what we're dealing with over here guys i can't see any signs of you know ip certification or anything like that but i think it's going to be okay dual sim slot actually i'm not gonna put the sim right now rather i'm going to put this memory card over here so we can see how is the sound quality guys okay memory card 
is in. I'm happy to see two separate SIM slots, by the way, like the Chinese phones from, from back in the day. But man, this one, <laughs> this one feels cheap. HMD, hello, hello. By the way, this phone costs 30 pounds, guys. If you decide to buy it, I'm gonna put a link in the description down below. At least it's available from Amazon. That's where I got it. All right, so let's power this baby on and see what it is about. But man, it feels cheap. I mean, these buttons over here, guys, look at that. I mean, okay, dual speakers, baby. We've got a dual speakers. Have I mentioned it's not a smartphone? It is not indeed, but let's have a quick look of the menu, guys. Nothing fancy over here. Colorful icons, some of them I can imagine, and it has Bluetooth. That's the only kind of modern feature that they have. I said in my previous videos how cool it would have been if they had a fingerprint read over here, guys. You know, look, and that's it. And you know, considering that's not a smartphone, that should have been very, very reliable, guys. And it's definitely doable, but they wanted to cut the cost. In the end of the day, 30 quid, guys. Because the banana phone is more expensive than that. The 2720 is like 80, 90 quid, something like that. And the only thing which is comparable to is the terrible Nokia 3310. I've got the review, I've got the durability test. And let me know, let me know in the comment section below whether you want me to run over it with my limo because that's exactly what I've done for the Nokia 800 at uh, tough. And I cracked the screen. I'm gonna show you quickly over here uh, if it has some power. Yeah, that's the result when I drove over with the limo because this is a film, um, kind of a, you know, thin plastic film and it made contact with the screen and essentially cracked it. Check this out. I can press it with my thumb like that. And that's my, you know, weak hand, the left one. So, yeah, let me know if you want me to run over it with the limo. But first, I'm planning to do a durability test anyway. Although, this phone shouldn't be very durable uh, because it's not advertised as durable. But anyway, it should be durable, guys. Now, let's have a quick look over here. What do we have, guys? We've got... Okay, <laughs> we've got the Nokia logo over here. Check this out. What happened with Nokia logo when I pried it off with the knife? It came off eventually when the glue doesn't hold that good. This um, inscription is going to fall off. Over here, we've got the same kind of plastic feeling camera um, protection. Over here, we've got the flash uh, micro USB, of course, 3.5 millimeter jack, which is good, and pretty much nothing else. The dual speakers are here. I'm gonna test them out in a sec, and let's see. We've got the dedicated music controls on this side, and we've got volume up and down. Let's see. Let's fire up the uh, player and see what's gonna happen. No, that shortcut does not fire up the player, guys. Uh, but well, yeah. So pretty much that's it. Snake, by the way, snake. It's the same crappy snake that we had in the newer uh, Nokia phones, unfortunately, which is which is a shame. Check this out. That's that's laughable, guys. I mean, if you're old school guy like me, check this out. All of those phones, you know, you've got the snake which has nothing to do with this one. And of course, for you, the old school fans over here, let's check our secret code in. Let's see what is gonna happen if I press the hash. Nothing. <laughs> I am disappointed. If you know what I'm talking about, then you're old enough. So yeah, what happened with the music? Let's see. Music. I'm going to crack the volume up. All right. Sound test one. Okay. Let's put it against. The HTC U12, yes, I know it's not fair, but uh, let's just do it for the sake of testing, guys. Woo! Let's see this one. Good. A lot more powerful but the thing is if you advertise a music phone with dual stereo speakers i'm kind of disappointed because yeah it sounds decent but that's about it but man the build quality i mean what is going on over here check this out guys 
what is that? I, I, I almost pried the button off. And don't tell me I can pry off the screen over here. I mean, I can, I can definitely put my finger inside over here, guys. But man, I mean, it's, it's not gonna survive the durability test though. I mean, can you see that flex? The screen is gonna go, oh, 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 check this out. Check these touches over here. When I do like that on the screen, check this out, guys. Can you see the touching over here? Something is touching the screen from the other side. That screen is going to crack, guys. But I'm gonna leave that <clears throat> for the other video. Now you've got a camera as well, by the way. VGA camera, guys. Oh my god. I mean, let's see. Okay. Um, you can kind of recognize what's going on. But man, I mean, that's old. I mean, most of those phones, especially the smartphones, the 60, 630, the 7, 610, the Symbian smartphones, they can do so much more. In terms of functionality, I'm not sure. That's equal to, let's say, the 6230, something like that. And, and the thing is that most of those phones, you can actually find them for less than 30 quid over here, guys. For example, I can imagine, I haven't checked, you can get this Express Music 1, the 5130, you can get it for like 10 quid, something like that. Check this out. It's a lot more beautiful than this one. It's smaller. It's probably lighter as well. And the build quality, I mean, this plastic is amazing, guys. And this plastic is the same scratchy plastic that we had on the banana phone. Absolutely terrible. Can you see the marks on the banana phone over here? My frame is cracked, by the way, on two places over here and another place over here. And I haven't really used it that much. But man, I mean, the deal is... That's the mobile wire, Ayesha. Essentially, that's the uh, Sajem. Remember Sajem, the French company that used to do durable phones back in the day? Um, well, some of them are, were not very good. Probably that's why they went bust. But these guys, mobile wire, they bought off the mobile division and they're issuing a really cheap phone. So I've got a comparison between the Nokia 105, the new one, with this mobile wire uh, Ayesha, which cost five pounds on Amazon guys can you imagine five pounds is locked to Vodafone unlocking costs one pound so six pounds all in you've got the camera you've got the memory card slot you've got the Bluetooth of course a little bit smaller screen but the phone itself is a lot smaller guys so before I'm done with my full review um, I mean for such a simple phone like that I might as well skip the review whatsoever because it's not worth talking about it, this phone that much guys but I'm really keen on doing uh, on doing my scratch test it's gonna be fun probably I'm gonna film it tomorrow but yeah that's about it for this video guys I mean check these buttons once again guys oh my god I mean what is that I, I'm not sure if you can see it and if the phone LG G8 is going to focus properly but check this out oh my god these buttons let, let me see let me see how far they can go Oops, I pried this one off. And that's about it. I mean, <laughs> that one is done, guys. This button is done pretty much. Okay. Um, right. And there you go. The keyboard is already falling apart. That easy. I mean, I kind of like it like that. And still, you can press the buttons. But man, that's a brand new phone. And I didn't even put any effort to it. So, ah. Oh. Nokia, why, why, why? I need a glass of wine or something like that. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you had fun. I definitely am having a lot of fun filming those videos. And of course, destroying some new crappy Nokia phones like the uh, 5310 uh, Express Music. Yeah, so that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to your favorite YouTuber, Tony from Vlogging Project. See ya later, guys.